Hello everyone, welcome to Kerry Deep Training Solutions. We are at session 4 of Probability and in this session we will discuss about problems of urns and balls. This topic is so simple if you are good at the concepts of combination. Let's enter into our first question. A box contains 5 red, 4 green and 6 black balls. If 3 balls are drawn at random, find the probability that all balls are red color. So totally we have 15 balls right, 5 red color balls, 4 green color balls and 6 black color balls. So totally we have 15 balls. So from this we have to select 3 balls. So 15 C3 is our total sample space. Now what exactly we want is we have to choose 3 red color balls. So we totally have 5 red color balls. From this we have to choose 3 red color balls. So 5 C3 is our total number of events and 15 C3 is our total sample space. When we solve it we will get the answer. So 5 C3 by 15 C3. So 5 C3 can be written as 5 into 4 into 3 by 3 into 2 into 1. And 15 C3 can be written as 15 into 14 into 13 by 3 into 2 into 1. So 3 into 2 into 1 and 3 into 2 into 1 get cancelled. So 5 into 3 15 and 15. So 4 for 2 times and 14 for 7 times. So 2 by 7 into 13 we get 2 by 91. So 2 by 91 is probability of getting 3 red balls from 5 red color balls and 4 green balls and 6 black balls from a box while drawing 3 balls at random. Hope you understood the concept right. Moving to our second question. So here the questions remain same. We have a sub question. A box contains 5 red, 4 green and 6 black balls. If 3 balls are drawn at random, find the probability that 1 ball is red color and 2 balls are green color. So we have 5 red, 4 green and 6 black balls. So however sample space remains same which is 15 C3. But what we exactly need is one red color ball. We totally have five red balls. From this five we have to choose one red ball and we need two green balls. So totally we have four green balls right. From this four we have to choose two green balls. Divide by 15 C3 this is our sample space. So value of 5 C1 is 5 and 4 C2 can be written as 4 into 3 by 2 into 1. And 15 C3 is 15 into 14 into 13 by 3 into 2 into 1. Now when we cancel we get 5 and 3 for 15 times and 2 into 1 and 2 into 1 and 4 for 2 times and 14 for 7 times. So 2 into 3 6, 7 into 13 we get 91. So 6 by 91 is probability of getting 1 red ball and 2 green ball from 5 red, 4 green and 6 black balls while drawing 3 balls at random. Hope you understood the problem right. Moving to our third question. So with the same question we are going to solve this sub question. Find the probability that none of the ball is red. So you have to choose none of the ball red. So we have 5 red, 4 green and 6 black balls. From this we have to choose 3 balls. So our sample space 15 C3. From this you should not choose any red color ball. So we have to choose 3 balls from the remaining 6 plus 4 10 balls right. So 6 blue ba black balls and 4 green balls. So 6 plus 4 it is 10. So from this 10, 10 only we have to choose 3 balls. So 10 C3 is our number of events and our sample space is 15 C3. So 10 C3 can be written as 10 into 9 into 8 by 3 into 2 into 1. And 15 C3 can be written as 15 into 14 into 13 by 3 into 2 into 1. 3 into 2 into 1 and 3 into 2 into 1 cancel and this 10 for 2 times and 15 for 3 times and 3, 9 for 3 times and 8, you know it's 2 and 14 for 7 times and we have 3 into 8, 24 and 7 into 13 we get 91. So 24 by 91 is probability of getting none of the ball red while uh, taking 3 balls from 5 red, 4 green and 6 black balls. Hope you understood the concept right. Now moving to our next question. Find the probability that at least one ball is red. See at least means we have to use the concept at least equal to 1 minus none. We discussed in session 1 of probability. So here in previous question we found none of the ball to be red is 24 by 91. So this is probability of not choosing any ball red. Now 24 by 91 is probability of not choosing any ball red. So 1 minus 24 by 91 is nothing but 67 by 91. So probability of choosing at least one ball to be red while taking three balls from 5 red, 4 green and 6 balls is 67 by 91. Hope you understood the concept right. Moving to our next question. Okay, this is our second question. A bag contains six white balls 
and four black balls. Two balls are randomly taken away. Find the probability that they are of same color. So you have to choose two balls. So totally we have 10 balls. From this 10 we have to choose two balls. So this is our total sample space. But what we exactly need is you have to choose two balls of same color. So from this white you can choose two balls or from this blue black you can choose two balls. So 6C2 or 4C2. So our total sample space is 10C2. When you solve this you will get the answer. So value of 6C2 is 6 into 5 by 2 into 1 plus 4 into 3 by 2 into 1 and 10 C2 10 into 9 by 2 into 1. So 2 into 1 2 into 1 cancel. So 6 into 5 30. So 30 plus 12 by 90. So 42 by 90. So 42 by 90 can be written as 7 by 15. So 7 by 15 is probability of choosing two same color balls from six white and four black color balls while taking two balls in random. Hope you understood the concept right. Moving to our next question. A box contains four black, three red and two yellow balls. Four black, three red and two yellow color balls. So totally we have nine balls. Two balls are drawn at random. So totally we have nine balls from this we have to choose two balls in random. So this is our total sample space. What is the probability that they are of not same color. So you should not choose same color from this four black and three red and two yellow. So from this black you can choose one and from this red you can choose one or from black you can choose one from yellow you can choose one or from red you can choose one and yellow you can choose one. So in this way only you can select two balls from four black and three red and two yellow. Now we can represent this in combination format. So from four black balls you can select one and from three red balls you can select one or from four black you can select one and from this two yellow you can select one or from 3 red you can select 1 and from this 2 yellow you can select 1. So totally from this 9 you have to select 2. Right? See in each combination you are selecting 2 2 balls. So 4 into 3 we know 4 C1 value is 1. So 4 into 3 it is 12. So 4 into 2 it is 8. 3 into 2 it is 6. And value of 9 C2 is nothing but 9 into 8 by 2 into 1. So we get 36. So 26 by 36 is nothing but 13 by 18. So 13 by 18 is probability of not choosing same color ball from 4 black, 3 red and 2 yellow while drawing 2 balls randomly. Hope you understood the concept right. Moving to our next question. A bag contains 6 white balls and 4 black balls. 2 balls are drawn 1 by 1 with replacement. Find the probability that first one is a white and second a black colored one. So this case is not randomly selecting case here you are taking balls one by one. In one by one you have two cases. First one with replacement and second one without replacement. Totally you have how many balls? Six white balls and four black balls. You have to choose two balls one by one. So first from this 10 you have to select one ball and that ball should be a white colored one. So you totally have six white right. From the six you have to select one white. Now after taking white color ball you have to put the same ball in the back for the second draw. Now again you are left with 10 balls. From this 10 you have to choose a black colored one. So how many black we have? We have 4 blacks. So 4 C1 ways you can select 1 black in the second draw. So 6 into 4 you get 24. 10 into 10 it's 100. So 24 by 100 is nothing but 6 by 25. So 6 by 25 is probability of selecting first one as white and second one as black while drawing balls one by one with replacement from six white balls and four black balls. So this case is exactly with replacement. In upcoming question we shall see what is without replacement. So here questions remain same. We have six white balls and four black balls. So from this you have to select two balls one by one without replacement. So without replacement means in first draw if you took white color ball that should not be included in the second draw. So here we have 6 balls right, I mean 6 white balls and 4 black balls right. So 6 plus 4 it's 10 balls. So from this 10 we have to select 1 ball first right. From 10 we have to select 1 ball first and that should be a white color ball. So in how many ways we can select white color ball? From 6 we have to select 1 white color ball and you are left with 9 balls now because after selecting 1 white ball you have to throw the ball away. Now we are running with only 9 balls in the bag. From this 9 only you have to select 1 and that should be a black colored one. So from 4 you have to select 1 black. So 6 into 4 it's 24, 9 into 10, 90. 
So 24 by 90 is nothing but 4 by 15. So 4 by 15 is probability of choosing a first one as white and second one as black when drawing ball 1 by 1 without replacement from 6 white balls and 4 black balls. Hope you understood the problem right? In upcoming session, we shall try to solve some problems on probability. Until that, stay connected with KareeD Training Solutions. If you have any doubt on these concepts, please don't hesitate to put it on comment section below. Like the video and share the video to your friends. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please do give your subscription as well as click the nearby bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.